Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another interesting question on SQL. So this question was asked in Misho Hacker Rank online SQL test, and this is basically a screening done by Misho. And if do you pass it, then you go to the next level. Okay. So very interesting question. Uh, please do like my videos and subscribe to the channel. So here's the question. So there are two input tables. This and this first uh, products and customer budget table are input table, and this is what you see the output is expected. So what it is saying, find how many products fall into customer budget along with the list of products. So for example, customer ID 100, this customer has budget of 400. Okay. So how many products this guy can buy? So he can buy P1 or P2, right? These are under budget, but now we have to select one because he can buy only one product. So the next condition is in case of clash, choose the less costly product. So if if a customer can buy uh, two products individually, then we have to choose the one which is less costly. So in this case, it will be P1. So this is my output, customer ID 100, budget is 400, he can buy one product and which product P1. Similarly, if you see for customer ID 200, budget is 800, how many products this guy can buy? This He can buy P1 and P2. P3 he cannot buy because it will be 1000, right? Either he can buy 500 and 300, these two, but we have to choose the Keeper one first, so P1, P2. Similarly for uh, this guy, 1500, we can buy these three. So three products and P1, P2, P3, okay? And your question is clear. Let's solve the, this in SQL. I will put the in the description box, insert a statement, uh, try yourself. If you have a better solution or any other solution, do try with, I will check and let you know if it is good. So let's start. So what we have, we are going to do, so what we will do, we will sort this product table in ascending order of cost. Okay. It is already sorted anyway. So what we will do, we will check one by one. So for customer ID 400, let's say if I'm checking for customer ID 100, I will check first product P1. Okay. Is this in customer budget? Yes, it is in customer budget. So I will assign this product to this customer. Okay. Now let's move on to the second. The sum of first and second is 500. Is it under budget? No. Then I will stop it. I will say this guy can buy only P1. Okay. Again for 800, what I will do? I will again check. If this guy can buy 200, yes. So I sign it again, 200 plus 300, 500. Is it less than 800? Yes. It means this guy can buy it. Now let's move on to next. It is thousand. Now thousand is over budget, right? So this guy cannot buy P3. So he can buy only P1, P2. Okay, so this is how we are going to solve it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a running sum for products table first. So I will say sum of cost over order by cost ascending. By default it is ascending, but I'm just putting as running cost. Okay, so this is my cost and this is my running cost. If I run this, you will see I got the running cost. So it's the 200, 500, then this is 1000, and then 800 if we add, it is 1800. So we got the running sum. I will just put it as a CT with the running cost as this. Okay, and I'm going to join it with this table, customer budget. Okay. I'm going to do left join because in case there is none of the product is in customer budget, we should get zero at least. Okay. So I will just put a left join. Otherwise, if I put inner join, that customer will not come in the output. Okay. So I'm doing left join on running cost. Okay. Now I'm doing a left join on running cost, which is RC on what? So the thing is the running cost, right? We see running cost should be less than budget. Right, so I will say R underscore cost should be less than customer budget, which is B U D G E T. The budget budget is coming from customer budget table, and this is coming from running cost table. Right, let me run this and show you the output. Okay, so if you see for customer ID 100, budget is 400. And only P1 product is coming, right? 
बिकॉज वी हैव पुट दिस कंडीशन दैट रनिंग कॉस्ट शुड बी लेस देन बजट तो ओनली वन प्रोडक्ट केम इन टू बकेट ऑफ कस्टमर आई डी हंड्रेड फॉर टू हंड्रेड वी सी पी वन पी टू बोथ केम बिकॉज द कॉस्ट इज स्टिल लेस देन रनिंग कॉस्ट द बजट बजट इज सॉरी द रनिंग कॉस्ट इज स्टिल लेस देन बजट इन द नेक्स्ट प्रोडक्ट इट वुड हैव गॉन अप सो इट इज नॉट कमिंग सिमिलरली फॉर कस्टमर आई डी थ्री हंड्रेड वी हैव थ्री प्रोडक्ट्स टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फाइव हंड्रेड विच इज अंडर बजट सो दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट डन आई जस्ट हैव टू डू ग्रुप बाई एंड स्टिंग एग्रीगेशन सो वॉट आई विल डू नॉट हेयर आई विल सी कस्टमर आई डी कॉमा आई कैन टेक बजट ऑल्सो एंड देन काउंट वन एस नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स एंड द लास्ट वन इज स्ट्रिंग एग्रीगेट एग्रीगेट वॉट प्रोडक्ट आई डी सेपरेटेड बाई कॉमा एस लिस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स राइट and i just have to do group by on first two column right so if i run this now let me show you the full query from here we have this ct and then this is why the query so i will run this full query now so we got the required output कस्टमर आई डी बजट नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट दिस गाय कैन बाय एंड द लिस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स ओके आई होप दिस वॉज यूजफुल डू ट्राई योर सेल्फ लेट मी नो इफ यू हैव अ बेटर सोल्यूशन और एनी अदर सोल्यूशन डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इट रियली मोटिवेट्स मी एंड प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग